what is the weirdest offer that's made to you in the last one year? I was just wondering. I'm sure television dramas ki aayi hogi. I did. <laughs> See, I knew it. I knew it. TV drama ki aayi offer ki kar le drama. And it was about me being a singer and the whole typical thing. And I was like, great. <laughs> and you said no. I like, no, don't. Don't you want that kind of fame? <laughs> I mean, if the script would have been nice, I Haan. would have been like, okay, yes, let's do it. Haan. But. Uh, Although my singers have gone crossed over to television as well. That's true. In fact, almost everybody. The last, I think, was Atif Aslam who did a drama. But the scripts were nice. If the scripts are nice, not that I watched those dramas because, I mean, I feel like my generation doesn't really watch dramas all that much. We do, but very few. Like, I've seen Udari, I've seen Ham Safar. Hmm. Uh, a little bit of Baghi. I mean, dramas of the yeah, sort. Of the sort. That right. are very outstanding. Ha, ha. But uh, Vaisi nahi. But yeah, if, if a good script comes hmm. along, then, then I could not? try. But also, why would they give me a good script? They'd rather give it to like, you know. No, they want to cash in on your popularity. That's why. <laughs> I mean, that's what they do. That's what dramas do best. They cash on people's popularity. <laughs> but Shay, okay, so I'm feeling your pressure. There's pressure of Pasuri. Then there's a the pressure to perform and you have stage fright. And there's a pressure of, you know, um, dropping out of college and starting a music career and all of that. Is there a pressure of being also a woman in, in the music industry? Because I just feel that when women become famous in our country, especially, there's this added pressure that, oh, they need to be carrying a cause on their shoulders. Or this will become every woman's voice. Shay, now it's so popular. Yeah, she's going to be the She's going to be, the, she's going to be yeah. like the flag bearer of feminism. Or now she will say this for us. Now she will sing that song which will become an anthem. So, that's actually kind of nice too, in a way. You, you feel sad? I think so, yeah. But I still haven't felt that kind of pressure, like in terms of being a woman mm. yet. Mm. So far, I haven't. You haven't? I haven't. Because I feel that one of the biggest music icons, female in our country, is Nazia Asim, yeah, right? Yeah, definitely. And she was a pop woman. star and yeah. she sang like the most bubblegum pop, beautiful, yeah. beautiful songs. <laughs> beautiful too. songs. And, and we're still waiting for the next Nazia Asim. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see yourself? Fitting, stepping into those shoes? If pop like... Maybe. Yeah, I am you did, doing you pop. You did say, that right? Is, yeah. But you feel that, that being that sort of icon for women is something that you, you like. You like the idea. I do like the idea. Of having But that influence. I don't want to say that I would want to be this until I actually get there. Yeah. You know? Like I wouldn't yeah. want to jinx it. <clears throat> right. In that way. Because there is a lot of power that comes with popularity. And then to be responsible yeah. with it. That's and you true. know? And, and some people do it really well. But yeah. But others... <laughs> no, I think all the women have that. I mean, whether you look at Amisha yeah, or whether you look absolutely. at uh, Naseeb Olal and you know what she faced after Groove Tera and if you yeah, look at Anaima yeah. Beg and her True. personal life is constantly under scrutiny and she's That's always true. like fighting for... Yeah. I think I haven't been long enough in the industry. Industry. Yeah. But God forbid, I don't want something, you know, difficult to come. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I say, sir. I try to... But, um, I mean... I don't know, let's see. <laughs> huh, let's see, let's see. What are you hoping from your career now? Um, Is something happening this there year? There are a lot of things that I'm hoping for. Huh. But I'm, I'm really private about them. I don't tell anybody. But I will say, huh. I will say that I really want to work on original music, have a lot of music and hopefully come up with an album like in a year maybe. Hmm. You're working on your, your first album? No, not yet. Okay. But I'm working but you on hope like to. a couple songs actually. Right. Which is why I'm so busy these days. Because it's Super. like three, four songs right now. Huh. But yeah. Other than them, I want to work on mm. an album separately. Yeah. I'm not even going to ask you, are you on the next season of Coke Studio? Because yes, I know that that's... No, I will not. Because that is like <laughs> super confidential and I don't even want to go there. Although I, I even asked Maha Bukti. It's like, I said, okay. Okay. I mean, obviously, that, that is the obvious answer. And you're working on your album. So that's looking good. Concerts in the future, 2023? Yes. <coughs> happening? Yes. Here. International concerts. Oh, super. Yeah. Super, super, yeah. super. I'm so, going to Canada in April. In April. That's fun. Yeah. That's, a, that's a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, and what else? Offers um, from TV? Yes. Film? Playback? I did a couple ads. And yeah. what else did I do? Some campaigns. Hmm. And I modeled for Hussein Rihar, which was so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're doing a lot of that as well. A little yeah. bit for the and Hussein yeah. Rihar. Yeah, those are really good designers, actually. Yeah, they are. Yeah, it's good to associate with the right people. Always, yeah. right? That's It's true. fun to do that. They're very nice, too. Like, in huh. person to meet. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. 
So, she was fabulous talking to you. Look, wasn't Thank that short and sweet? Was that, was that difficult at all? No, no. And But I was just a little nervous. No, you weren't. You were not nervous. I, I don't do interviews that often. I know. I don't know what I'm going to say. Because I get a little confused on the huh. spot. Huh. Yeah. I just don't want to say the wrong thing. Wrong <laughs> thing. Time. Let's finish on, on the filming of Pasuri. Okay. And um, that was a fun shoot. It, it seemed was, like an incredibly yeah. fun shoot. It was, it was. Um, mm. It was like a 24-hour shoot, I think. Or actually more than that. Mm. It was more than 24 hours. And it was so much fun through and through mm. that even though we were dead tired by the end of it, and I was... I was sitting in my head and I was singing, right? Because you have to sing so much. Because mm. it was all being, you know, shot live. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, when it ended, I was, I was a little sad. I was like, no, I don't want all of these people to leave. Leave, yeah. It felt like such a family and yeah, it was just an amazing experience. Yeah, amazing. And yeah. I'm going to remember this forever. For sure, for yeah. sure. I mean, that's so this a, is special. That, that's a really special yeah. memory. Well, let's talk about Sakoon's video. That was also so amazing. Yeah. Oh, Sukoon. <laughs> uh-huh. It was a beautiful video. Yeah. It was an absolutely beautiful video. And that imagery yeah. of, you know, the turquoise. Tadata Tata is very creative. Very, very creative. Yeah. But that was a bit t- technically, like, difficult video, was it? No. Um, I wouldn't know because I just had to sit in the boat. <laughs> But, oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, unless you have a water phobia <laughs> yeah. of falling into water. Yeah. But, yeah. It was fun. Um, and, yeah, we, we shot this at Swaik Lake, hmm. which is also called something hmm. else, I think. I don't know the other name, hmm. but not a lot of people know that it's also called Swike Lake. But okay. That's where we shot it, and it's a beautiful place. You should go there if you haven't been there, and it's very clean. Where and is beautiful. it? It's beautiful. It's serene. Um, it's yeah, it's in color. Let's not tell people; they'll pollute it. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> no, so now, they <laughs> now they know. Now they know. Yeah, people need to not pollute these beautiful places. Yeah. It seems is it the same place where Kamli was shot? No, maybe it's. No, no, no. Nee? It couldn't be. Okay, okay. Yeah. But yeah, that was beautiful. Thank And then you. PSL. And then PSL. PSL. PSL was so much fun. The opening ceremony was like even more fun, huh. right? Performing in front of all of those people. Huh. Huh. And they were chanting, they sang that part, OAO. And I was like, oh my God, yes. <laughs> This is what we were hoping for. Yeah, yeah. And they did it. They did it. Because um, Asim and Abdullah, sabne mujhe warned me that PSL anthem ki kafi criticism is a lot of And they've done it before. Mm. This was my first time. Mm. So I said, just, just be ready you yeah. know, for anything. And it was He, different. It was different. It was, the theme was different this year. and The yeah. sound was a bit different. The, your look was very different from what one would different. expect from, you know, yeah. a PSL girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's PSL true. girl. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it didn't make sense for me to, you know, be all... Because my part wasn't like that. Yeah, it was huh. supposed to be very composed. Huh. So I Are you a very composed person? Yes and no, in different situations. Huh. Generally, I'm pretty... hyperactive mm. but otherwise I'm really composed but in all three of your videos you seem like you're very in control and very yeah, composed and very like you know no nonsense and fuss free and distance rakho duro yeah 